Hi everybody, Jeff Firefile Service Systems, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about storage management and how it relates to cloud storage. So you're probably familiar with the way you do storage today locally, concepts such as volumes, which are basically where your data is going to go, things like provisioning, provisioning your volumes, and in some cases maybe you're doing some thin provisioning, and then the idea of snapshots, which is pretty much ubiquitous in the storage industry, which is the ability to take point in time copies of your data. So let's take a look at volumes. What you're, what, when you start looking for a cloud controller solution, you're going to want to make sure the cloud controller you go with has the ability to present some form of container, it's best to think of it as some sort of volume, and it presents it sort of like, like you do with local storage, and you've got some sort of volume that you define here. Your host either uses iSCSI, SIFS, or NFS to access this data. Ideally, you want to be able to have the same sort of functionality here, because you don't want to change the way you're doing your data stores today. Okay, so you're going to want to have some concept of volumes. Second thing is provisioning. With local storage, you can only provision the maximum of what you have physically. So to the extent I can create a volume and provision it, I can only go as far as the end of my storage. So the whole idea of using the cloud is to extend beyond that boundary. Okay, so you're going to want to pick a cloud controller solution that allows you to create your volumes, provision them, and then be able to provision them outside of the physical boundary of the local storage of the controller out into the cloud. So essentially, pay as you go. You're going to want to be able to create volumes as large as you want, not pay for it up front, but only use and pay for the amount that you use as the volume grows. And thirdly, with snapshots, today again, you're probably using snapshots in your local storage, but the number of snapshots you take and the amount that you can keep or retain is limited by the storage. Furthermore, oftentimes you have to cut in to some of your usable to reserve for that snapshot space. And you, gotta, you have to keep an eye on it and watch it. And then as your snapshots roll off, you still need to send that, you know, the data to, you still need to back up your data because ultimately your snapshots roll off. With cloud, because you have the unlimited backing of the cloud, you now have the ability to take an unlimited number of snapshots. So the cloud controller solution ideally that you want is one where you don't, there is no concept of reserving any amount of, 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 of space, if you will, for snapshots. And that one you can take you know, an unlimited number of snapshots as you go and the snapshots are stored in the cloud so that you can get back to any point in time if you have any kind of disruption or corruption or what have you. With Service Bluejet, we basically offer up the concept of volumes, which will look and feel exactly like the, the kind of storage you're managing today. So to your clients, it'll look like a, a regular block storage volume that can be used with iSCSI, SIS, or NFS. We provide the ability to do thin provisioning so you can literally create a, a 10 terabyte volume on your service blue jet even though the bulk of that might extend into the cloud so at first when I create my 10 terabyte volume I'm, me, I, I'm not consuming any space in the cloud but I'm giving the clients here the promise that they have 10 terabytes if they need it and as they start filling up that volume this volume will naturally grow out and extend into the cloud and thirdly with respect to snapshots clients snapshots can be taken on an individual volume basis on a per volume basis and you can keep an unlimited number of snapshots per volume. So I can have an unlimited number of uh, previous restore points that exist out in the cloud in case I ever need to get back to a point in time. So again, to edit out, the, the combination of uh, volume management, thin provisioning, giving you 100% plus uh, usability, and snapshots are the three things that you want to look at when you're looking at a cloud controller solution for your storage. Thank you.